Hello, guys, again. Welcome back for part two with Borak. The part one stopped quite uh, quite quickly, but uh, he Borak basically gave us his update on the uranium sector. And last time we spoke, more or less everything looked really, really good. That is not the case today. But um, check out his video. Good explanation in the short term and in the long term. Um, and for this video, part two, we always, more or less always, do the overall commodities and maybe some indices if we have the time but overall commodities seem to be uh what burak has prepared for us today so uh burak as, as i say all the time without any further ado show us okay. your uh, your view so yeah i'll start with uh us oil uh we have a massive squeeze here this is the high of 2022 21 we have uh, quite a few touches on this golden support and we turned very bearish um, after breaking down this red bear flag. It, it came down pretty hard, but then it recovered and touched that golden resistance for the fourth time. One, two, three, four, actually five times. Then it dumped again. And it is now, uh, I, I, I'm kind of like, again, ideal scenario is that it doesn't break this golden resistance just not yet uh, gives us a chance to buy the dips if this black support breaks if this green resistance holds that rail keeps on holding okay and i mean if this is a potential resistance okay it's not really a resistance just yet but if it does hold it comes down breaks this black support for at the fourth touch which is the usual one then it rally it comes down to the blue bottom band to form this large bull flag here and that's going to be around 70 dollars and from 70 buy get to the blue top band break that golden resistance and that would actually target 100 so that hmm. is kind of the yeah the ideal scenario i would say um it's not i mean it's of course it's not impossible to break this golden major support that would be horrible for, <laughs> for, for oil bulls. Uh, on the Brent oil, more or less, uh, you know, very similar story. Obviously, it can't be very different. The red bear flag was broken, which is why we turned very bearish. Um, that blue resistance has three touches on this one. It's very similar to the golden one I showed on the US oil. This blue support, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many touches on that one? Quite a few. And I'm thinking maybe it wants to test the purple plus blue double support and then rally. Mm -hmm. um, if it gets to the green top band to form a bear flag, that's going to be 83.50. From there, it comes down, touches 75, maybe 74 or so, and then rally to break that blue major resistance. Anything above that blue resistance, which is around, where is it? Um, it's around $85. Anything above 85 on the Brent oil would look very, very bullish. Yeah. Well, let's have a look at gold. I'm going very quickly because like the charts are rather simple, really. Like this, the top band, the golden top band, it came down, touched it first touch. This is the second touch. And I um and I said 2300. We will rally off the 2300. We broke out of the perfect blue bull flag got to the golden top band for the third touch, came down. I thought maybe we'll touch that 2300 or this golden bottom band one more time, which it didn't, which didn't happen. I was going to buy it again. It rallied. It formed the blue resistance. Finally, that golden sideways channel is now broken. The back test happened a little bit too deep for my taste, obviously, but mm. it's this new support that held. And we rallied to a new high. Uh, no, sorry, um, uh, uh, not a new high, but just fell short a few points. Now, what matters here is that this blue resistance gets broken as soon as possible. One, two, three yeah. touches. You can see it's perfect three touch resistance. Is it going to break this green support and come down to that blue bottom band before rallying again? That's the big question. Or is it going to break it right away and get to, uh, well, basically 2,600 or so, which is going to be the red top band. 
that's the minimum target. It would be the minimum target if it breaks that blue resistance. On the spot chart, the breakout level is 25.28, okay? And on the futures continues is not very different, but it's this red channel that oh, is okay. in the show, okay? This is the low, this is a higher low. So it, this is where it started, came down, touched it twice, three times. So it's an unorthodox channel because it's it's consecutive touches, mm -hmm. not not alternating touches on the bottom band. It's consecutive touches, but it is what it is. That blue support, the blue resistance, and the green support. Same picture. It has to break that blue top band to rally. Yeah. One question, Borek. Yeah. But just if you uh, if you zoom way out, you know, going back to the nineteen eighties, if you uh, I don't have that kind of data. Oh, okay. I don't have that far data. Oh, I see. Like, I see. Okay. But it, it was basically a question because if you take that top with right. a trend line to the top of 2011, I think that, you know, if you extend that out, it hits roughly, you know, 2,650, 670 maybe. How does really? that fit into your, yeah. Um, is it is it the XAU US dollar? Yeah, you, sh you should get that on the XAU USD chart. You, you, you can so, probably go that. It's just a, a question with regarding how you view that you know because that should be major resistance oh, until no, proven I've, otherwise I've oh yes yeah i've already put it there on the trading view okay okay one two and that's exactly where it is as you as you pointed out of course this is a logarithmic chart guys mm -hmm. yeah there's no other way of charting it without the logarithmic scale a lot of people don't realize i always use logarithmic scale and it's 2700 you're right 27, okay, yeah. Around 2,700, 2,600 something. So yes, yes, that okay. that looks as an as a as a long term um, um, uh, target. So cool. uh, let's have a look at silver. I think this is quite interesting. Um, the red bull flag, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on the six hourly chart. The red bull flag had formed. One, two touches, two touches on the bottom. It was broken last week. And uh, that was, no, was it last week? One second. I think so. No. It's actually this week, Monday. So we broke it, back tested, but actually um, this channel, the black one, okay, that was looking good, but actually it broke down. And it, that's why it fell down back into the red uh, failed bull flag so far this is a failure i thought it would actually break that black bottom band without breaking the red top band it would come down and that that's that can still happen by the way i would rather have another touch at 25 25 uh, okay it's wishful thinking so okay. bear with me that blue resistance from the highs of 2011, first, second, third, fourth touch. And that resistance was not is not backtested yet, hasn't been backtested yet. Yeah, that you can see here, mm -hmm. it broke out. At 25, it would actually touch the golden bottom band, right, on the spot chart. This, yeah, this golden bottom band, the blue one and the red one. So if it comes here, and I can even give you a, a date for it, 17th <laughs> <Nice>. of September. <laughs> 17th of September, yeah. cool. That's one month from now, okay, cool. September-ish. Yeah. If it, if it dumps all the way here, then around $25, I would be a me mega buyer of, <laughs> of silver. Yeah. That's, the, that's the kind of <laughs> ideal scenario to touch that triple support. Yeah, and also one just... If, if I'm allowed here, Burak, just one more thing also. If you get that dump, again, you you have the third, you know, impulse low ever since we hit that high, you know, in Q2. So that also adds into the, maybe we're going to have that final yeah, third wave yeah. down flush and then off we go. Yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, you never know. But yeah, every everybody's extremely bullish on everything metals related. But yeah. Um, including like, for example, platinum also looking a bit bearish to me, mm. which um, I think I put it on Twitter, but I'm going to repeat it again today. So oh, yeah, I see. 
when this blue support was broken and back tested, okay, it also uh, coincided with the red top band. So the, this is where the red trend started, came down. And I said, if this red plus blue holds, we dump again. And that's exactly what happened. Then we broke out of the red, but it's stuck inside the green. So when it came to the red, green top band, second touch, I said, this could turn into a, a resistance. Yes. Another touch, again, resistance. So three touches, two touches here, came down. Now the bear flag is broken after the reversal at the green plus golden double resistance. From there we sold and it is still bearish to me. Look, this mm. golden support zone got back tested. It's actually a short entry to target uh, around 900 to 903, at least a minimum. So probably 900 because this year is looking very bearish to me. Unless it decides to break back into the green and breaks the golden and breaks the blue. Anything above 1,000, 1,010 would look very bullish, but I don't see it happening. So maybe platinum and silver, maybe even gold, they're going to come down one more time, one, one last flush, and then rally. Um, so that's metals from me. Natural gas, um, again, uh, it's the ideal scenario is that we hit this red bottom band. Okay, uh, bear with me. I'm zooming out. I can't zoom out enough, so I'm going to switch to <laughs> weak. Oh, okay. Yeah. The red bottom band is at 1.3, and the green plus red would happen by September. That's a mega, mega entry, but holy, that's, uh, that's a yeah, big one. Yeah, 1.3, you bet the house on natural mm -hmm. gas. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Like, if it gets there, because this is uh, the high of 2000, what, five, six? This is a high of last year, and this is exactly why I call... Sorry, I have this silly moves, jerky moves on my platform sometimes. This year, this is why I called 10 as a mega resistance in 2022 and it dropped 80 percent from there mm -hmm. okay and some of you may remember that call i do uh, i've mentioned that last time as well you know uh, you, you uh, went yeah. against the grain everyone was saying higher gas and uh, you uh, said be careful and yeah um again one uh the the latest um bearish call was at that green top band that i said like it could be a major potential resistance now, of course we had also an uptrend here it broke down the uptrend after this reversal it was just over three and we came to to below two so that's more than a thousand ticks that came down are we gonna stay inside this golden downtrend potential downtrend and come all the way down to this 1.3 i hope we do again it's still bearish to me um I may be wrong with my 1.3 call. It's wishful thinking, more or less. But yeah, we'll see. This is this year is the October contract on natural gas, the golden top band, the golden bottom band. You can see here. This is why it reversed right at that golden top band. That was a potential resistance, which which became a confirmed resistance after the reversal. Now the red downtrend is intact. And we have this potential green bear flag right now. So if we see a reversal, I think it will come down and break this green bottom band and keep on sinking. So that's my take. But yeah, obviously, even if that green top band doesn't hold, it's holding at the moment. It may get to the red top band and then a reverse from that level. What's going on? Right, that level. And there is a little gap here. It may fill that gap, reverse at the red and come down. That could also happen, but doesn't change the fact that it is still very bearish. Um, copper. Copper is forming this gigantic sideways channel, okay? At just around 500, I gave this as a mega resistance. And we had an uptrend which broke down, which is why you know copper reversed at around 500. This is the high of 2011. Two touches, one, two, three, four, five touches on this 
top band but just recent like just um oh, okay last week we turned bullish again and the reason is very clear the blue top band was there the blue bottom band at around 393 i'm going to switch to the eight hourly chart to show you a double support that 393 was one of the best calls uh recent best calls because 393 we broke that green resistance got to the red downtrend top band and we broke it now so it looks very bullish mm. at the moment at this back test obviously it has to hold get to the golden top band and smash it so that's the idea if it can do that we're going to see a really big rally towards 475 maybe even back to 500 and even break that giant resistance from the highs of 2011 um the other the other opportunity um, um option is it rallies a little bit breaks down the blue and that will be game over for quite a while so if this blue support breaks it already has three touches so if copper breaks this blue bottom band that is going to look very very bearish uh for months maybe even years yeah i know you don't do much you know in fundamentals but it to me, yeah. if and when and if we get that flush, I mean that's a clear sign that the overall, you know, economy would be in pretty bad shape because every time we have had these major, major drops in 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 uh, in copper, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's usually a precursor or an indication that we are in a recession. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah. so we'll see. Yeah, exactly. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we are. Um, what what does always Jay Powell says? Uh, we are um data driven yeah yeah exactly exactly i'm yeah. price driven so <laughs> yeah. if the price shows us something then uh, i'll we'll take it yeah they are always uh, behind you know the curve so yeah of uh, course they, they look uh they look at data that is past already yeah so i'm going to do a quick one on the indices short term update okay so it's this green broken channel from the lows of last year october we bro broke it back tested in august end of july this back test was deep in it, in it but failed it came down now we have this red potential uptrend okay it's actually an uptrend already okay today's action looked very bullish after it broke this blue support okay one two three it was broken it went up held for a while as resistance but then it pushed on this golden channel, okay, is a is a little bull flag. Obviously, it has to be broken to the upside without breaking this red bottom band. If the red bottom band breaks and the golden one break breaks, um, anything below fifty five seventy is going to look very bearish. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I think we will have a really big dive. Um, is it going to happen? Again, I'm price driven. I'm looking at all the prices and try to see what's happening. Uh, Dow Jones, um, again, every every morning I make a video and I said this blue resistance is going to get back tested. The green bottom band is a potential support and that exactly where it bounced. Is it going to rally towards 42,000? That's that's still my target on this. This is the... Um, uh, continuous futures data that red top band this is the high of 2022 high of 24 like this year right march and i think we may touch that one again as long as this golden channel holds right this is where this one started this is the low of 22 this is the low of 23 october both so this could this is holding bottom band touch it rallied it could still get to 45000 if it breaks that red top band um wishful thinking yes but it is what it is um nasdaq um looked very promising after it broke out of this green bull flag today that bull flag broke out came back for a back test that's where i bought it it rallied, it couldn't break the blue resistance and it sank. So it got uh, stopped me out. Uh, I should have closed at least half of it. 
but I didn't. Um, and it came down and it didn't back, stop at the back test. So it's gone back in. Where do we go from here? The purple uptrend has to stay intact. This is the low of August, beginning of August. This purple uptrend has to stay intact. Then only then we may see another all time high, just like Dow Jones. Dow Jones did it already. Russell gives me hope. Uh, Russell 2000. I'm going to now show you the, a little bit more long, long term. Just disregard this action at the moment for now. That blue, excuse me, that blue resistance was broken with some data. Then it came down with FOMC. Now it's broken for good. So that long term, this is 2021. Okay. We had broken the support, back tested it many times, many times was back tested. Yeah. This was price driven, sorry, news driven action, which is why it rallied and it came down. But now this is mark natural market forces and it looks good. On the four hourly chart, this green resistance was back tested. Yeah, that broken resistance was back tested. And we broke out of the blue little bull flag. And we are, I think it stays inside the red uptrend to rally 20 to 2300, maybe even touch that golden resistance. Okay, at 2300. Okay. Uh, FTSE is breaking this green resistance, um, and the uh, the uh, I'm going to zoom. I'm zooming out to show you. I think where it's headed. Okay, um, this is the high of 2007, 2018, and I think we're going to test that one more time. That's that is a resistance, potential resistance, if it gets there at 85, 50, 55. I'm sorry, 85.50, 85.70, somewhere there. That's FTSE. And uh, DAX is, so DAX bounced off the green support. Excuse me. Um, this is the low of 22 October, low to 23 October. <laughs> and this year is the perfect touch on that potential support, which confirmed it as a support. And it rallied almost 2,000 points. Now, is it going to be able to take this out? That's the high of May. It's trying. And uh, yeah, we'll see. The red one, the red bottom man is quite young. So it may find the blue plus red and then keep on rallying inside the red uptrend. That's a potential uptrend, by the way. So that's DAX. And finally, this is the French index. CAC and it had broken the purple bull flag, which is why it's climbing. And there is a gap here at 8,000 ultimately. Um, even if it comes down after a while, I'm I'm still expecting 8,000, this gap fill. Um, yeah, that's it really. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, what, uh, what just one question before I'll, I'll let you go, Borek. Uh, mm -hmm. From the uh, commodities that we've been looking at, you know, just before we went into the indices, uh, which one looks the best to you? I mean, uh, w what's your take on that? Do you have any preference? In, right metal? Met you mean uh, like metals? Metal? Yeah, metals. Yeah, exactly. Metals. Yeah. Which one metals. is? Um, if 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 we get 25 on the silver, I think silver is going to get to 35 very easily. Mm. So percentage wise. From twenty five to thirty five in in a couple of months, that I think would look extremely, um, yeah, encouraging. I think if it yeah. gets to twenty five, but obviously, I mean, gold is touching new all time highs every week, so gold is gold, and it's it has it has outperformed both platinum and silver. Oh yeah, but things may turn. You look at the ratios quite a lot, mm -hmm. which I don't do, uh, but I should actually. They may trigger quite a quite a bit. What do you think? What is is any of the ratios showing you something? No, I mean the ratio, the gold to silver ratio had a very promising breakdown. I think like a few months ago, and basically, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. And so basically, gonna... the, the big retest basically failed, and we went back into that wedge pattern. So that is yes. why silver is is lagging as much as it did because we couldn't 
you know, yeah. hold the retest and 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 continue going down. And uh, that's why gold is doing so much better right now, at least in my opinion, compared to silver. So yeah, yeah. For example, this is disappointing. Like, this is the red top and right two thousand eleven high. We got to this is the gold to silver ratio, by the way. And that red top band, this is the COVID panic, came down, broke these supports and touched that. Look at this red bottom and how many touches on this. And finally, we broke it down. And I thought it's going to at least back, maybe back test it and then come down again. But it's actually came quite a bit in back into the red, right? That red support. Uh, wait, one, one second. Just bear with me. No, not really. That's not, that's not, doesn't look very nice. So yeah, maybe that blue top band is going to hold and then we'll see another dive, but then it would be uh, maybe a bull flag. We don't mm -hmm. know yet. Yeah, yeah. The fact that it has gone back into the red is disappointing. I thought gold to silver ratio is going to, after this break, I thought gold to silver ratio is going to really crash. Yeah. Right. I thought. Me too, it's gonna, me too. That silver is going to outperform for quite a long time. That's not what happened. That's not what's happening at the moment. So if it touches, the ratio touches 93, then I would expect uh, some weakness once again. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I think that's a good lesson. That that's also something that I'm saying a lot is that, you know, from, from, from fault breakdowns usually comes, you know, big reversals in the other direction. And that is just a textbook case of that, really. So Yes, yes. So. yes. For example, I always look at uh, platinum to silver ratio. Um, not all. Sorry, I, I had looked at it. I don't always look at it because it's a very long-term chart. It's touching this green mega support. This is 1986, 1985. I think it switched back to, the, uh, to your Saxo trader chart, I think. Yeah. Uh something i don't know oh did it did i not yeah i think it's a switch back or something but anyways i think it's uh oh i i i thought i was showing you the gold to silver ratio yeah yeah exactly yeah was i, I showing but... no i wasn't showing it was i no no but I, I knew exactly what you were saying but again i just <laughs> i didn't think we would go on this far into this that question but oh uh, well, one second one second one second i i need to show this then uh silly me of course, I was sharing the picture of the sax. So this one. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a silver ratio. It's touching multi-decade lows. And this green resistance, obviously, it has to rally and break this green resistance for platinum to outperform silver. And the one I was just, I was just talking without the chart. I'm so sorry. It's this one I'm talking about, that yeah. gold to silver. Exactly, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. This red, this red top band. Um, the red bottom band, it was broken, back tested, and it's kind of broken back into it. That's That's why I'm a little bit disappointed with this. I thought once the red support breaks, gold to silver is going to come down, but it's actually recovered quite a bit. Sorry, silly me. I wasn't showing this chart. I, I knew exactly where I, I, yeah. I can see the chart, you know, in front of me. So, uh, yeah. one thing, Burke, before you go, if you switch to go away from lock scale to nominal. There's actually uh, a uh, a uh, if you yeah. take the 2011 low, I think these three uh, lows there they are perfect. So that's uh, that's why it. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, linear scale works sometimes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the one thing that you know I I didn't I didn't cast yeah, that, that on myself. I just I saw it on a chart I think or yeah I don't know. But that's why at least it could be the reason why we had that you know false breakdown yeah. on the lock scale at least so. Yeah, yeah, that looks that looks decent, really. Yeah, that looks quite legit. Um, I don't know, like, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, maybe coming our way, touches and then comes up. Yeah, if this red says red support breaks on the linear, yeah, uh, that's a perfect three touch. Oh, okay, and, and break on fourth, yeah, standard textbook. So it, hopefully, it yeah, yeah, but but still, even though again. We didn't catch that one on the lock scale uh, ever since i switched i think like a year or 18 months ago i mean yeah. the, pre the precision that i have been able to to achieve with that is still it, it outweighs you know even though we didn't catch that one it's still way better yeah. in my opinion so 
being log scale is much more useful to me mm, yeah. than linear scale in most cases. I used to look check out both of them, but then I became so busy and I kind of like ditched the linear scale. But I think once in a while it's worth to look into it. Yeah. Sometimes linear scale gives some yeah. Are, some we, hint. are we below now? The uh, the red one, I guess, back below. Yeah, I, I'm back yeah. to the log scale. Yeah, but I mean, are we back below the red uh, trend line there? The uh, the channel, or you mean this year? Yeah, I think it's coming down. Yeah, yeah a little that's, bit. That's a good yeah. sign, at least. But it is. Yeah, it's kind of trying yeah. to get down. Trying okay. to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I think if it drops below seventy four, we are at eighty five. If it drops below seventy four, that that linear support, that linear scale support would break. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right then. Good work. Great stuff as always. And I'm yeah. having the first. I'm the first guy to see this every time, so I'm I'm, uh, I'm happy. That's good. I'm always <laughs> excited when you when we, you know, stop talking and go each to our own because it's uh yeah as I've been saying many times I learn a lot so it's it's great yes. for me so thank you for, for doing this every you know, two months three months you know whenever yeah there was the a time, big, so. big summer break so this yeah. time we're not gonna leave two months we let's let's do it next month. One yeah. more time, and the end of next month, uh, like we usually do. Exactly, and we actually have, we actually planned it last week as well, but and then you had to to cut it off, and then I had to, and then all of a sudden two weeks went by. So, it yeah. is what it is. So, Burak, yeah. again, thank you for for doing this, and uh, yeah, hopefully we will do this. We will do this again. We will do this. Yes, again. We'll so, do. good guys. All right, thank good you, guys. Kasper. Thank you. Have a good have... trading to everyone. Take care, guys. Yeah, take Bye. care, guys. Bye.